<laughs> now, we, we haven't seen you since before Christmas. I so know, we've got loads to catch up on. You, you're I back in Essex. You girls. We have missed you as well. You look so. fantastic. So, so tell us how, how lockdown has been for you, because you, you're in Essex now, but weren't you in Vegas when it all sort of started? Yeah, I, I flew out the beginning of March to Los Angeles because Rod was um, playing in Vegas. So I got to see one of his shows before his all of his tour had to be shut down. Um, and then uh, managed to squeeze in a birthday party because at the time it was a maximum of 50 and there was only 20 of us celebrating and that was at our home in Los Angeles. And then suddenly there was the word that no one could travel to America after Monday the 16th. So I took my two boys out of school a week early, which I'm glad I did, flew them out to Florida where we were planning on spending Easter anyway. So instead of a 10-day holiday, it ended up being a month in lockdown in Florida, um, which was actually quite wonderful. We were also there with two of Rod's older children. Um, Stu uh, who is it now? Uh, <laughs> Harder, We've got a picture. Right. Have a look. Yeah, Sean and Rudy. Penny, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Fuzzy brain and memory loss is part of the menopause. And we're going to be talking yes. about that later as well. So don't you worry at all. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, you know, you, you, we flew to to London when the advice was to come back, yeah. and then we spent um, well, spent the last few months here in in the country with another two of the kids, Renee and Liam. So we got some quality family time, which wow. is lovely. And what about the whole homeschooling thing? How's that been? Oh, my God. I literally was pulling my hair out. I, 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 you know, all new respect to teachers, but trying to, the, the difference between a, a nine-year-old, I, I could deal with that. But then the 14-year-old, the work there was just insane. And it was full on every single day. Um, I got my exercise running up and down the stairs between the two of them <laughs> and, and cooking and baking too much. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad that was over. And <laughs> your wedding please. anniversary, Penny? In September. Yes, we did. A, um, a, we, did, we went, Obviously, restaurants weren't open at the time for our anniversary, so we thought we'd do a romantic thing and, and take a little sweep drive around London, see all the empty streets and got Aww. a takeaway and sat in the back of the car in Hyde Park. It was lovely. That's a lovely oh, way around that really it. That's nice. Yeah. Simple so things. <laughs> <laughs> How have you been yourself during the lockdown, Penny? Have you have you dealt with it? You know, some we, we, there's been there's been a lot of people who've suffered mass anxiety. Some people have dealt with it quite well. How how, how have you been? I think initially, while we're in Florida, and there was so much fear, and particularly in America, a lot of confusion because each state has its own rules about the lockdown and. Um, how they should go about advising people. There wasn't one big kind of government. Trump decided to let, let everyone kind of decide for themselves in each state, which is quite confusing. But just hearing the stories, the horror stories, and seeing people on um, oxygen and in hospital, I think my biggest fear was, and I had a dream that my little one drowned you know, the association with not being able to breathe, you know, and drowning. So I woke up in a complete panic. And then on top of that, I was getting these extremely uh, severe hot sweats. And I thought, I've, I've got a temperature, that's it. I, I'm going to pass it on to all the family. And, and then and then I was getting freezing cold, then hot and then cold, on top of the covers, under the covers. And I was like, this is the wow. menopause. So I was in lockdown, entering menopause, my last period was March, and so I guess I'm officially that age now. Oh. But it, it was very confusing. Oh, well, do you know, I think so many women will not only understand with with what you're talking about, the menopause, and we're going to go into that in a, in a little bit more yeah. detail in the show, but just even the, you know, the stress dreams and worrying about your children at, at the beginning of it all, I think we all felt Everybody exactly the same, crazy dreams, the same way, yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. Terrible. Yeah, but we, I mean, I, we always consider ourselves extremely lucky with this whole lockdown because, you know, having, you know, a bigger property and, and land and that we can just got to stretch and, and get exercise, uh, we always counted ourselves lucky and just kept thinking how awful it must be for those in, in uh, small apartments. Oh, no, and just not to have a garden. Yeah. 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 So just um, heart went out to them. 
Now, um, we want to very quickly talk to you about PC Penny. Can you, in a nutshell, tell us how far you are with your with your training? Did it have to come to a halt, obviously, with coronavirus? Yes, I, I've got. I've gone through um, all of the tests required, and the vetting was was very thorough. And then I was due to go in for my toxology and DNA, where they take hair and swabs and fingerprints and all that. And then my training was popped postponed for obvious reasons mm. but I went in for my fitting very exciting trying on the uniform um all the different layers of clothing and the hats and everything and uh, I start my training on September 10th why? I'm so why, 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 why are April. you doing this it's amazing but why because I, I want to be a part of helping the community um, like really on the ground level. I mean, we do a lot of charity work, but I always feel like we're on the outside. And even though you, you get to visit children in hospital and and other aspects of the charities that you're involved in, I never feel that it's enough, mm -hmm. you know, to conquer such a, a big scale of, of trauma or, or whatever. Um, I just felt with working with the police that for that two weeks I did the TV show that I really felt like I made a difference every single day. Mm. Um, and the majority of the time I found that probably 80% of the time you're dealing with victims of crime, not necessarily chasing... The bad uh, Good for you, Penny. Yeah. I think it's pretty It's incredible. It really is admirable. Good for you. Thanks.